This is a simple transition out of a side street. These three axles are not evenly loaded. You can see that by comparing the wheel to the trailer frame. The rear axle is holding a lot more weight than the front. The front wheel is now off the ground. It's hard to tell, but it looks like there is a moment when both the front and middle tires are off the ground. Either way, the rear tire is way overloaded. At this point, the rearmost tire is almost completely unloaded, and the front tire is now overloaded. Now let's watch it again, this time in slow motion. This kind of suspension would be great if the road was always flat, but it's not. This is just a quick illustration of where the suspension causes problems. Some people say it doesn't really matter, or they say yes, but the suspension is, is designed for that. Okay, I'll grant you that the torsion suspension do take overload fairly well, but the tires do not, and the bearings do not. People contact me about tire issues and premature bearing failures because of this kind of thing all the time. It is not trivial, but it's also up to you. It is not my job to convince you. I'm just illustrating why I recommend axles that are linked so they share the load. I wish you the best in all your trailer towing.